Good morning, children. This video is for anyone who is working in the Obelisk group. Again, here's your starter, so please pause the video, and then once you've answered all the questions, press play again, and then pause when the answers are shown. So press pause now. And here are your answers. Okay, so today, children, your learning is going to be following on from yesterday. We're going to be di dividing a two-digit number by a, a single digit. But today we're going to be looking at remainders. Now, remainders is basically a way of saying that you've got a value left over. So we're going to use something similar to what we did yesterday. I'm going to look at how it's also written in a written uh, in a written method as well. But to begin with, let's use how we looked at yesterday. So we've got 67 divided by three. We've got six tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the first point we're gonna do is we're gonna group them into three groups. So as you can see, it's already been done here. So we've got one group, two groups, and three groups. And the same as what we did yesterday, what we want to do is we want to group, we just want to circle one group. We're just looking at the value of one group. So 60 divided by three equals 20. Now we're gonna group these together. So as you can see, we're gonna have three groups. We've got one, two, three. There are three groups and we just keep adding on. Now we can, we've got one left, but we cannot add that to this, to this group here because each group has to be the same value. So this one is just gonna be left outside for the time being. We've got, in each group here, we've got two. One, two. So we know that three, sorry, seven divided, because we had seven ones, seven divided by three equals two but because we've got one remaining we have to put a little r and then put one because we've got one remaining outside we can combine these together so 20 plus two equal but remainder one equals 22 remainder one 22 remainder one We'll go for another example so we can help. And then I'm going to talk about how it's written in a written method using the short division that some of you may know already. So our next question we've got is going to be 85 divided by four. So I'm just going to get my place value counters. Eighty five divided by four. And I'm just going to draw my columns again. It's really, if you've got the opportunity to draw the columns and then draw circles, if you don't have place value counters, it's a really good way of visualizing it. So we need to have eight tens. So we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we need five ones. One, two, three, four, five. Now, we want our tens to be split into four equal parts and so do our ones. As we can see, we've got four groups here. One, two, three, four. And they've each got the same amount. They've got two in each group. So we know that 80 divided by four equals 20. Now we need to get five, the four groups from the five ones. So we're gonna create our four groups. One, two, three, four. We've got our four groups. I've still got one remaining. Now, if I put a one here, the other groups are not gonna be equal. Each group has to be equal. 
So this, because we cannot do that, this one goes on the outside, like so. So we need to do five, because we had five ones divided by four. Now we've got, in each, we take one group, and in this one group, we've got one. So five divided by four is one, but don't forget the one that we've got remaining, remainder one. So 21, tw sorry, 20 plus one remainder one is equal to 21 remainder one. So that's using that visual representation. I'm now going to show you another example of how that can look using a bus stop method. Now we're going to look more detail into this tomorrow, but you will have questions that are written that have that will look like this though. So we can use that same example of 85 divided by 4. So 85 divided by 4. So this is saying that how many 4s go into this 85? And it breaks it down into separate parts. So as we said just earlier, we did how many 4s, how many 80 divided by 4 equals 20. But at this point here, we're looking at just the value of 8 on its own. Because even though it's, it's, we know it's in the tens column, but we don't need to partition it into its separate values like we did here. So how many 4s go into 8? Four, eight, so two. How many fours go into five? Now we can use our place value counters for this, and we can use it for the other one, for this one example as well. So we actually go back quickly. I have eight counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I work out how many groups of four. I turn them into, put each group, have four groups. One group, two groups, three groups, and four groups. And how many do I have in each group? I have two. I take five this time. And I make four groups. And as pointed out, I cannot have, they have to be equal. So I cannot have this one here or there or there or there it has to be on its own here so i've got one group one in one group and i remember that remainder that i've got here and that becomes 21 remainder one today i don't mind you can have a go at using this method if you wish to but there will be more work on it tomorrow but if you just want to stick to the method that we started with where we drew out columns and partitioned it today, that would be just as good. Have a go in the questions. There's quite a few more questions on it today than yesterday. So have a go and best of luck.